two, three, funk it. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jacoby. Welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while. Well, actually not really. I posted them on Sunday, but I haven't filmed in a while. I'm feeling so much better. My jaw can move and I can open my mouth and I can express myself. I don't know. But welcome back. What's up? Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Um, this is one of the best channels on YouTube just because, just because it is and I said so. Okay. Um, I'm also going to be eating my lunch while I'm doing this video, so... You know, this is just me. Okay, so, um, first order of business. This video is, I don't know why I do that. This video is basically why and how I transferred colleges. I get so many comments and questions and DMs about this. And I'm like, do y'all really care? Like, I don't know, like, do you actually care about why and where I'm going? So I guess you do. So I'm gonna make a video about it. And plus, like, it, there is another added layer to all of this since I am an athlete, so that also adds to it. But here we go. So, first of all, I am transferring colleges, or I transferred already. So I used to go to the school in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, it was a Division three school. I went there for my first two years of college, so freshman and sophomore year. Um, it was okay. Like, I hated my life most of the time, but then, like, the other time I was like, what? because I met some great people I met great friends like it was a lovely experience socially but then academically and volleyball wise I hated it because um the academics just wasn't they just weren't for me per se and what I wanted to do in the future just didn't really align so it wasn't really helping me grow academically you know it just wasn't the best fit for me like I know other people who love that school they love it so much and I just, I just hated it like I just did not like it it was really small like smaller than my high school and like I'm not a small person like well height wise definitely not but like small pl like I love being around different people I love meeting new people and like I was seeing the same people every single day and it drove me insane like it just drove me up the walls like I cannot do this anymore so um and also I think that like, the, yeah, the size of the school, the class size, like, it just was not for me. Small schools just are not for me, and I found that out the hard way. So, that's more the academic part of it, and also, it was really weird, like, the curriculum was weird, like, you don't have to take, like, math, and, like, the sciences were kind of weird, and, like, there's, like, this core program that everyone hated, and all the students hate, but the faculty doesn't really, like, some, most, like, faculty members weren't, like, very how do I say this about being mean like most some most of the faculty members were not very willing to help these student athletes which I thought was messed up like at any level like d3 d2 d1 like the athletes are doing you a huge favor they drive a lot of like traffic towards that school so the fact that you're not willing to help your athletes like that just oh that made me so angry it made me so angry so that's one thing that really irked me and I think that the fact that like it just wasn't it just wasn't not it was just was not for me like it was a bunch of money because like d3 you don't get a scholarship for your um for your <laughs> for your sport so like I was paying an absurd amount of money for bare minimum nothing like that school is not worth the money period but like, you can you can ask pretty much 90 percent of that 90% of those students that go there will, will tell you that it's not worth the money because it's not. It's ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. But I think they're making changes to where, like, their, your tuition will be matched to, like, your state school or whatever. So, and I think that's great. But, like, I have paid way too much money for me to be crying unhappy pretty much every night and calling my dad, like, please do not make me come back here. Like, I would go home pretty much every other weekend my freshman year to get away from that because it made me so depressed and like sad and I was crying myself to sleep sometimes and I was like you know what this sucks so then I stuck it out for one more year and this was just kind of volleyball wise as well that because I didn't I didn't want to be like oh freshman and a transfer I wanted to give it a fair fair chance and I did and I hated it still my second year so I was like okay I gotta go and plus like volleyball was not going well like I was not on a like I was not on a winning team, we didn't, we didn't win very much, and but I, I loved the girls, like that's what I'm talking about, like socially it was amazing, but like volleyball wise, like winning it was just was not happening, so I was like, 
All right. So my spring semester, my sophomore year, I was like, okay, I'm transferring. Like I decided I'm leaving, like it's done. So then I started the whole process of like getting my transfer release papers and like talking to other schools and applying to other schools. But this school that I went to was very hard to get my credits to transfer at other known schools, other bigger schools because of the curriculum. That's kind of how they get you is they have this curriculum that they know won't transfer out. So basically, I could have been screwed if I took so many of these core classes, but I knew that I was potentially going to leave, so I took the bare minimum of core classes I could just so I, I could have some sort of good academic standing at the next school I went to. So I made sure not to take too many of those classes because I knew, I knew that that was gonna happen. So I made, I made sure to stay away from those and I took more business classes, accounting, economics, like um, some history classes, sociology, those are transfer out. So that's what I took. And, um, but okay, going, I guess going back to volleyball, um, that was really hard, not even gonna lie. Mm -hmm. That was really hard for me, am I focused? That was really hard for me, mainly because it was like doing the recruiting process and like the college ac application process again, but like in like a month window. It was so hard because I decided to transfer kind of late, kind of like in February, March. So I had to go to my current or my old school's like athletic department, my old, my old coach and be like, hey, like I want to transfer. And it's really hard. It was really hard because I basically did it on my own. Um, I had to get, I, I, I emailed people. I um, had to set up meetings with like my, my athletic director, my old coach and all that stuff. And like, it kind of sucks when it doesn't go smoothly on the, on your side. Like that kind of sucks sometimes, but like if that happens to you, like persevere, like if you want to get out of there, get out of there and like don't let anyone tell you any differently and don't let them hold you back. You know what you're doing, so make your decision and go for it, run for it because it was not smooth sailing for me, but I knew I wanted to leave, so I got out. <laughs> I ran like a bat out of hell, I got out of there. So that's just me, like I didn't, I just didn't like it. Like as, 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 like as a school, it wasn't anything personal against anyone. It was really just, I did not like being there, so I'm gonna leave, like it's, it's pretty simple. So, um, I mean, I got out, it was easy. I mean, it wasn't easy, it was, easy -er towards the end but like I was contacting coaches I had about good I had a good like probably five offers I had to work with but in my case I made the jump from division three to division one which is like unheard of typically and it's kind of hard crazy but like that's where I would hear some people from my old school kind of chirping at me like oh like I don't know if you can do that like oh I don't know if you're good enough or oh I'm like yeah yeah, yeah yeah like you have to be like mentally tough and strong enough to be firm in your decision and don't let people basically like just talk crap to you because they're trying to keep you there like that's what they're trying to do they're trying to discourage you and be like you know what maybe this is the best I can do or maybe I can't do better than like where you are at the current moment that's not true do not let people do that to you you can do whatever you stick your mind to whatever you put your mind to you can do it so don't even let people try to put you down and be like you're not good enough because you are and they just want to trap you <laughs> and I'm getting a little like because oh that is like it makes me so mad like how dare you but anyways um <laughs> um I guess after that like I had a couple good offers and I picked the one that was best bleh, I picked the one that was most appealing for me best for me so I picked the University of Southern Mississippi that's where I'm going right now um I, I start summer school there's an ant on the window um I start summer school in July first first week of July um move in I'm excited preseason and all that so yeah like and I'm gonna like vlog while I'm there update y'all obviously because that's my my thing but yeah like that's kind of my story I don't know if y'all wanted more details because like I don't exactly want to give out details because people might get their feelings hurt so I'm just like not gonna say anything because like what people some people fail to understand like it's not about you it's, ne it's never been about you it's always about I mean, it's always been about me and what's best for me, so I'm gonna do what's best for me and what makes me happy. So, yeah.
um, that, that was why I transferred. Now, how I transferred, you know, you just have to apply to the schools that you want to. Um, and also, if you're an athlete, you can apply to places before you get your release, but you cannot talk to the coaches before you get your release. So make sure you get your release to talk to the coaches, but you can apply wherever you want before that. So I applied to a couple places. Like I got into some good schools. One place I will name drop that I got into, I got into Tulane, which was the hugest accomplishment I've ever had because my dad is a Tulane alumni. So I was like, oh my God, like my sister got into Tulane. So, and then I got into Tulane. I was like, oh my gosh. But yeah, Tulane's competitive, such a great school. So I got into there, but didn't go because I picked Southern Miss and I love Southern Miss. So yeah, I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, apply to schools, make sure your grades are good. Also, like I said that about high school recruiting, it's the same for transferring. Your grades need to be like good. So make sure your grades are good. Um, make sure that you, you know, you, you like, you keep your transfer process as like graceful as you can. Like, don't be like, oh, like freak you guys. Like I'm leaving. Like, hmm, I hate y'all. Like, you know, like just keep it like to yourself, really. I mean, not to, you don't have to like lie about it. <laughs> like you don't have to keep it to yourself because that's not healthy and you should do that. But like, you know. Keep it like, you know, just like, just keep it cordial, you know, keep it chill, keep it whatever, because it's really your business and what you're doing. Overall, I'm glad I transferred. I'm so happy I did. I'm so happy that I have this opera. There's an ant. Oh my God. Ah! I'm so glad I got this opportunity to go and play at a different school. I'm playing at division one now. Should be different. I don't know. It's just volleyball. Volleyball is volleyball. So I'm excited, ready to work hard. And if any of the Southern Miss people are watching this, hi. Ah, oh, there's an ant. Oh my God, I'm so scared. If any of the Southern Miss people are watching this, hi. I'll see you in July. <laughs> I'm excited. Um. Okay, yeah guys, that's it for this video. I hope like that gives y'all some insight on like how I did it, why I did it. But if y'all have any more further questions, any more for if you have any more questions for me, um, comment them down below, or you can follow me on Instagram and DM me. Or yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, just reach out to me. Subscribe to the channel because I also vlog. I don't do these sit down videos very often unless they're unless I get asked a question a bunch of times or I get requested, but, um, yeah, subscribe to this channel. I also have a vlog channel. If you didn't know that I have a vlog channel, it's called more Jacoby link will be in bio. I just post really random vlogs, like just really, really, really funny, random stuff, but make sure to go subscribe to that channel as well. I'll see y'all in my next video. I'm going to finish this pasta and then I don't know, go do some dumb stuff. All right. Ew. All right, bye.